Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Sunday, April 21st, 2024. This is my newest segment of Markets, A Look Ahead. And people, let's just do that. L let me show you something which most of you are probably aware of right now. But in case you're not, uh, here you go. How do you feel about this? Okay, uh, as this is uh, any surprise to you, uh, I don't think so here. So... What we got here is the House approves a $95 billion aid bill. Okay, this is, uh, <laughs> this is to foster war. Okay, as you all know, this is no aid bill at all. But the wording is important. This is how they sell it to the unknowing public. So, House approves a $95 billion aid bill for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan with overwhelming, it passes with overwhelming bipartisan support uh, reflecting a broad consensus. Now, let me ask you, uh, while we're on that topic, a few things popped into my head. The moment that this came out yesterday, you know, I write things down, you know how I operate. So the first few thoughts that come to mind, I like to write these things down. And I want to hear from you on these things. Number one, funding the expansion of war. Is there a surprise here? Okay, what do we know is going to happen? Uh, wars are going to expand as a mechanism to pull cash into the now. This $95 billion, this is just another installment. Okay, there's going to be another one and then another one. And of course, it's going to pass with overwhelming bipartisan support. Now, keep that in mind, because one of the things I wrote here is uniparty. You really believe that there's a, a big separation here, honestly, overwhelming bipartisan support? No, there is no, it's a uniparty, okay? Then I, so this is, again, something else I wrote. So funding for the expansion of war, which you and I have nailed to the wall, it can't stop, it's the mechanism here, and you're seeing it play out in real time. Now, keep that in mind as we go through this. Here's the next one that I wrote down on my little list here. Where does this cash come from? We don't have it. We're absolutely broke. No, we're beyond that. The United States, if you look at the United States, it's, we are the, most, the largest indebted nation in the history of the world, and it's not going to stop. And this is, again, compounding the problem. And that's not going to stop either. And my next thought was, did you vote for this? My next thought was, and this is just a, a list of things. I was writing. Do you feel represented? Do you feel that this is cash well spent? Now, you have to understand. This, of course... Again, as another installment in the propagation of war, which is a mechanism to do one thing. And this so-called overwhelming bipartisan support, they know what's going on here. You see, they don't think you know. The mechanism must go on. We are in a crisis like we've never seen before in the history of the world, in the history of humanity, but you're not allowed to know that either. The system demands, as you are well aware of if you follow this blog, the relentless uh, uh, expanding of debt on a scale that is unprecedented. Again, we have a global economy that is contracting at its fastest pace in history. At the same time, we have global debt skyrocketing at its fastest pace in history. If that doesn't reflect to you or uh, maybe get the brain waves floating around a little bit to say we have a huge problem. But you see, our, our loving, camera, caring members of the Uniparty can't tell you that. They have to make you believe that we're all rich, our economy is fine, it's the fault of this person, it's the fault of that person. No, it's not at all. It's the government, and the real government is central banks. They are fulfilling their end game, as you know, and their end game is very, very simple, to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. This is how central banks gain power, and that's where the cash comes from for this. We don't have a war chest. No, no nation on this earth has a stash of cash anywhere. It has to be created out of thin air, added to the debt. It's on your back. And in case you don't know, again, the last couple of things I wrote here, right at the bottom, this is massively inflationary. This is massively currency negative. But you can't know that either. This uniparty, okay, your votes don't count, you don't count, I don't count, the Trumps, the Bidens, no one's saving you here. You have to understand what you, and no one's going to tell you the truth. You think any of these freaks are going to tell you the truth? No, of course they're not. They can't. 
because it's, they are being uh, used as puppets, useful idiots to sell the the American people, in this case, the Bidens, the Trumps, or whatever, um, the Trumpers or the Bideners, whatever the freak they are these days, I don't know what they're called, to sell you something. Now, the big show, look, this, do you, is there a coincidence? Do you believe in coincidences here? Okay, for months, this has been on the back burner. The back burner. They had to figure out a way to sell this to you. So what they did, they gave them months to plan, and they announced it. They announced it to the world that it was going to happen. This is how you and, you and I called it to the day. Let's be honest with each other. On Friday, before the big show, the big attack on uh, Israel by Iran, the my video, the last day, on Friday, right before, was an attack is imminent. They announced it to the world, and they did it after market hours, as they always do. They don't want to disturb the market. On weekends, their favorite time. They put on this big light show in the sky, real-time fighter planes going after American-made missiles or American missiles, okay, uh, uh, <laughs> pulled out of the stockpile or copies of them, however they had to do it, and they sold this to the world. And then, and then of course, they had this little follow-up just recently here with the Israel striking back. Um, again, big show. No one was sold on this year. But again, our, our loving, caring, caring, of course, bipartisan, overwhelming, uh, they they wasted no time to jump on this to put together what they were trying to sell you from the get-go. You understand? And you got sold. Uh, you got, you feel like you've been conned or scammed? I bet you do. Because you were. People know when they've been scammed. People know when they've been cheated here. What's the difference between a scam artist trying to rip you off or this? This is... Again, this mechanism here, massively inflationary, steals the purchasing power out of the currency here. You're being robbed. You're being robbed by, by, by the uniparty, and none of this has your best interest in mind. None of it. When you wake up to that, you're finally going to start to see the light here. Uh, it's an incredible thing. So, please, people, answer some of these questions here. Uh, you know the, the answers to this. Most of them already. Uh, funding for the expansion of war? Yeah! Where does the cash come from? The Federal Reserve. We don't have it. Uniparty. Did you vote for this? Do you feel represented? Cash well spent? Huh? 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 Uh, and you do understand that this is inflationary and currency negative. And again, in case you... See, what they're not going to tell... Let me tell you what's missing from this. Okay, what... Read this. What's missing from here? They're not telling you that, again, this is just another installment. The mechanism people of central banks that are going to inflate here collectively, they are going to do things. Does this sound familiar to you? That you can't believe. You're going to be sold lie after lie. You're going to be deceived on a scale that you cannot believe. And those people that are locked in, and I'm going to tell you, you know who the biggest useful idiots are? I'm going to tell you who they are straight out. The extreme right, the extreme left, they are the, the, the useful idiots here. And the rest of us here who get it, we're paying the price for this, okay? This is a mechanism to bring the world to its knees, to make us beg for a new system. They're setting this up, I've described this to you in detail for years now. They are the central banks who are the government, all right, the uniparty, whatever it may be, it's the central banks who run the show. They're destroying the system, they're devaluing the currency, what have I told you for over 10 years? Central banks in a race to the bottom, sucking out the purchasing power of the currency here. Uh, I mean, do you need another, more proof that this is actually happening, and th happening that this is not a conspiracy theory, that Greg Manorino does not wear a tin tinfoil hat? You know, I've been, you know, uh, through the years, you can only understand, maybe you can get a grasping of, like, you know, I, I told people that stuff like this was going to happen. And if you've been with me for any time, you know it's true. We call this stuff blow after blow after blow. We nail it to the wall. We know where it's going to go. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. The expansion of war is being funded and it can't stop because that's the mechanism. War creates a greater need for more borrowed dollars, people, than any other endeavor on the planet Earth. And it's being sold to you by the big show. Wait, you just wait for what they have next because, again, this is just the next installment. And people, let me tell you something. Look at the comments here. I posted a, a picture of this yesterday, um, of this exact thing. On my uh, in my newsletter, and here uh, I sent I sent a little uh, 
shout out to all of you here who subscribe. You got you got this too. People are overwhelmingly like freaking the freak out here. Oh, there's a few that like this. They think it's a great thing. But by and large, people realize that they're being scammed. You're being scammed on an, an absolutely epic scale. And it's just uh, it's too much. It, it really, really is. But what are you going to do about it? Look, do you think you can stop this? Do you think you have the power to stop this? Do you think you have the power to really select or elect a president? Do you think that still? You really believe that? Even after what happened last time, those of you that believe Trump told you, he's told you that the election was stolen. He knows. Look, if in fact that there are some that are powerful enough to pull off something like that, like stealing an election, of course they can cover it up too. And if Trump believes that, he knows they can do it again, okay? Um, and so what he's doing here, I have no idea. Uh, he should be telling you the truth. And uh, unfortunately, you know, this whole thing is just a scam. We're being scammed across the board and more scams are coming. And again, just be ready for anything. I've been telling, this has been the actually in the, the subtitles of, of a lot of my videos lately. Be ready for anything. Um, and that means people right now, if you understand, let's, let's talk a little more, just a little bit more here. This is not going to stop debt creation out of nothing, the funding for war, for whatever, every thing they want to throw at us here so they can have a blank check. Again, the big show, and I, I, I wrote a whole paper on this after the big show, and I sent it to all of you to tell you what was really going on here. My free newsletter, link in the description of this video. I told you, they want a blank check. And they're going to get it. Because if you don't support uh, whatever, the, again, the children that are being murdered, you, you, you know, that, then you don't help children. You don't want to support our, our, our so-called allies here, then you're not patriotic. You see what they're doing here to you? Do you see it? I hope, I hope you do. All right, anyway, look, uh, let's, let's talk about this market. Risk in this market remains at an extreme level. This is the latest from the MMRI, and this is free to everybody. Um... In the description of this video, I, I urge you to follow risk, okay? I did a whole video about is your cash safe? It's not safe. But does that mean that you should be getting out of this market? Instead of rehashing that video, I suggest you watch that video here. But again, bet against the debt, people. Become your own central bank. Hoard this asset. This asset above all, okay? Do your own research into this. I'm not telling you to buy anything, all right? Uh, I've been hoarding this stuff. I, and I will continue to hoard this stuff because this is an anti-debt unit, along with gold. That's real gold here too as well, okay? Um, these are my two favorite assets on the planet Earth. Number one, number two, okay? Commodities, you know that. You need to be diversified here. You cannot be all in on any one asset. You need exposure across the board, and yes, that includes cryptocurrencies, excuse me, in my view. All right, but I've covered this a million times. I'm not going to go over it again. People, do you see what's happening here? Do you really see? Are you, for those of you that are not awake, are you finally understanding what's going on? Or are you still lost in some delusional state because that's where they want to keep you. They don't want you to know what's going on. They can't allow you to know what's going on. Nor can they allow we the people to come together because then we could win. They must keep you divided in a state of hatred, in a state of anger, in a state of blame. You understand? While the, the, the central banks laugh in your face. If, you're, uh, if you live here in the United States like me, they're laughing because they are the ones that are running the entire show and they hide in the shadows and they laugh as you are being propagandized and hypnotized to think, well, it's not them. It's Biden. It's Trump. It's not in any way the, 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 the angelic beings who dwell in the holes of the Federal Reserve because they have your best interest in mind. Really? Again, where does this cash come from? Do we have, a, we have a, a cash reserve somewhere that I don't know about or you? No. They are the enemy. And you, once you realize that, then you'll laugh and you see what, when, when, when they stormed the Capitol, that was a big show too, to steal more of our, uh, our, our liberties and freedom. They stormed the wrong building. Understand? And, and the members of the Federal Reserve were in the back laughing their asses off. That's a fact. This guy here loves you a lot of people. I mean that from the heart. I want to hear from you about this kind of stuff. Please share this video. Please get it out there. You know, like I said, these questions that I asked you, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you on these things that we covered. 
Um, anyway, look, people, um, <laughs> I will see all of you in the morning. And uh, until that time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I'm out of here.